on our way to Chicago O'Hare to pick up nine-time world champion Andre Galvo. With the rock. You look kind of Super scary back there. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah! Boom! It's a boom! So what do you guys want to know? What am I asking? Um, how was your flight, Professor? That's well, that's pretty. <laughs> that's like asking. That's like when you're in the elevator. Yeah. And you go, hey, this weather is pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, ask him about the weather. Let's let's go. Ask him about San Diego weather. Uh, 72, no rain, beautiful sunny palm trees. All 364 time. days out of the year. <laughs> yeah, because. Uh, the one only day he spent in Wisconsin. Right. <laughs> September was six years. Did you go there um, to year. build your gym at that time? Uh, like in 2010, I I got an offer. The guy offered me a, a gym. Mm -hmm. Like he said, hey, I have a gym here, ready to go, it's yours. I don't want anything, it's yours. You know? What? He wants to give to me, yeah? Whoa. And he's a friend of mine. One is Brian, the other guy is Mark. Mark was a, he owns the build. And he said, oh, just pay rent and everything's yours. Okay. Whoa. But I didn't want, mm -hmm. I say I don't want to stay there because um, I, I have a good life in Brazil. So, mm -hmm. and then um, I told two of my friends, go to the gym. I say, hey, get the gym for you. It's a great opportunity for you, right? Mm -hmm. So my friends went there and then he's like, oh man, I didn't like it. It's not gonna work, it's too small. And I say, okay. And then I sent the other friend, and then he looked at the gym, and then he's like, he, the gym's too small, you know. Uh, there's another gym like across the street. It was like everything together the gym, the, the locker room, or everything together was about like maybe 900 feet. Whoa! It was super small. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not a whole lot. Yeah, it was super small. <laughs> the, the mat size was really small, and then but it's crazy because in 2007 I had the dream of a gym, like that I'll have a gym, and you know it was crazy. And then I I saw this, I saw the gym in the dream, and I started like looking for friends to be investor. Like, but uh, I thought the gym was would be in Brazil. Oh yeah. So I was in Brazil in 2007. So I started looking for friends, sponsors, hey man. You know, I had, I, I say exactly like that. I had a dream mm -hmm. and you know, we, I need an investor, you know. Right, right. And the guy, yeah, I'll be an investor. And you know? we started looking for places, but it ended up like not working. And then it's okay. And then after three years, right? The guy started calling me in 2009, but in 2010, it was the time that he called and said, okay, I'll go check it out. And then I went to Texas to fight. I fought the strike force. I won my fight and I flew to San Diego to check the gym. When I got inside the gym, I'm like, dang, this is the gym I dream. It's crazy. <laughs> Even the, the smell. The small gym? Or yeah, the small gym. Really? Okay. Because I saw the colors of the mats in my dream. I saw like a huge gym in my dream. 
with the color of the mats and the smell that I felt, I felt like that's the, that's the gym. And that's the blue and black that you have now? It was blue, black, and gray. Yeah. It was the colors that I saw. But now it's blue and black. Right, right. And, and then I said, okay, uh, I called my wife and I told her, look, this is the gym that I had in the dream. What would she say? No! She said, <laughs> no, and then she say really say yes, and you know like I'm, you know that I'm, I believe in God a lot, right? Yeah, like, definitely. You know, and in the dream, like I saw the logo uh, of like a, a lion face, like a logo, like a logo of the team, you know. It was a lion face, and in the gym, you know, and I didn't understand back then, you know. So. 2007 I had a dream, in 2009 I moved to, to Rio and in Rio I went to to a church to visit the church like you know just go fellowship you know and when I got inside the church the logo was there oh, 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 oh. Really. everything's telling you look, to go look. and then 2009 this and then 2010 I told my pastor, pastor like there's an opportunity for me in the United States the guy wants to give me a gym, I don't understand, like, I want to go there, check it out. He said, let's pray, we pray. And after two weeks, three weeks, he came back and said, hey, man, God told me to go, you go. He told me to tell you to go, you go. And all the doors will be open for you there when you go. I say, okay, man. And then I went, when I got in, all this happened. Like, I felt that was the gym that I had in my dream. But I didn't see the logo inside the gym, right? But what happened is, a church is starting inside my gym. The church with the logo is starting inside my academy. Oh my God. <laughs> and today, today look, today I have a gym with like 7,000 square feet. Yeah. From like 900 square feet to 7,000 square feet. <laughs> so God multiplying seven, right? Yeah. And the church is in the same street of my academy, like two, three blocks away. Oh. Is we, the church has their own building right now. And the pastor, uh, actually back in Brazil in 2009, when he told me to go, the pastor prophesied, said, you go, you're gonna open gym, God open the door. And this guy here, he goes with you afterwards, after you. And the guy was a deacon at the church. And today he's a pastor. <laughs> today he's the pastor of our church. <laughs> he's my pastor. It's crazy, right? This not really, crazy. not really. Yeah. It's not really that Yeah. Crazy. But for many people, it's yeah. crazy. But it happened and still happening and God still blessed me. And when I got here, uh, 2010, I was already two times world champion, right? So after I got here, I got two more titles, world titles, and I got all my four ADCC titles. Yeah. And in 2011, I started training for ADCC. I didn't have my, my visa to leave the country. I was in the process of the, of, uh, you know, like the green card. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't leave the country because it was in process. Right. And then uh, I was training really hard, like really hard, really hard. Never trained so hard in my life in 2011 for ADCC. And I was training only with the blue belts, purple belts, and white belts. I didn't have any black belt. The only black belt that I had was Bruno Frazato. Davi Ramos, and that's it. That was the only black belt that I had. Even the guy who was helping me in the camp, and I told him he was my student, I said, hey man, I need you to help me in the camp. The guy was a brown belt. Oh, really? <laughs> the, the coach, he <laughs> was a brown belt. Man, but I trained so hard, I trained so hard, and sometimes I was like training, and then I say, man, why am I doing all that? I don't have even the green card. Yeah. I can't leave the country. 2009 also I got uh, deported from from England oh okay you, you know? were in England yeah. I got deported in England because I went there to teach a seminar so they find out that I will teach a seminar they deport me really <laughs> yeah and then in 2009 this happened in 2009 so 2010 I moved to the United States 2011 the ADCC would be in England Oh, <laughs> and I have no paper, and England like I I got I got I got kicked out for England, so I never get in in England in my life. They kicked me out, so I had like bad reports there in the immigration, right? <laughs> so I'm like uh, training like crazy. I'm like, man. And, you, and that's in England while you're training. Like no, crazy. I was I was training in the United States. Okay, here. Right. No, ADCC. but you're gonna go to. England. I gotta go right, to right. England in 2011 for ADCC. <laughs> that was the ADCC that I won double gold. Mm. 
right? I beat Tokinho and uh, Popovich in the finals. And then uh, I was training, training, training. And I'm like, man, what I'm doing? Why I'm doing that, right? But I something tell me like, man, I keep going. Keep you know? I always keep training. And then like three weeks before the three weeks a month before the the tournament, I got the permission to travel. Oh. The permission like arrived, and I'm like, dang, good. you know, I got the permission, so now I can go to England. I got inside the plane, and I'm like going to England, and I saw the I saw the plane going like ready to like arrive in England, and I was feeling like, man, I gotta kick out right away, so I'll get there. And I started telling all the fighters, because the plane was full of fighters, I say, hey guys, you guys gotta help me. I gotta kick out through England already. So, you know? <laughs> they're like, what? And they're like, no, no, no. You no. Got... And before, they were, they were, one of the organizers was a Browder's team. He was helping. Man, before that ADCC, I sent Browder like tons of emails. As soon as I got my, my permission, for one month, I was every day talking with Browder. I said, Browder, you gotta give me letters, you gotta give me this. You gotta give me a letter like this, telling that you guys will provide my stay in there, everything, you guys pay for everything. Man, and then he starts sending me every, everything for me. He's like, man, it was actually good because it helps the event to prevent any issue with that, yeah, with the immigration. Yeah. Because immigration in UK is terrible. Yeah. Like, it's the worst immigration I ever passed through, you know? And then uh, I, I got there. And then like was like bought like ten passports. My passport, Dean Lister passport, Ronaldo Jacare passport, uh, Rob Somora passport. All these guys like there, you know, with me. We put all together and gave it to the girl. Like, oh, we're gonna fight and show, right? Yours was like the ninth one. Yeah. So the girl was like, oh, blah 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 blah, and then okay, and blah 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 blah. Put your hands here, boo, okay. And on mine, like she's like. And she's like, look at me, look at the screen. Oh. Like she's like, you had problem here, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know. I'm like, yes, I did. And she say, what happened? I say, oh, I came here in 2009. I came to teach a seminar, but I didn't have the proper visa. And the guys kicked me out. I say the truth. Yeah, yeah. And then she look at me. She say, look, I gotta talk with my boss. Okay. I say, okay. And then everybody passed, and I was the only one staying, oh, like, wait. No. And then Rob Samora said, no, I wait for him. And she said, no, you can't wait, you gotta go. And then everybody went there, and then I was, like, waiting. And then I waited for, like, 20 minutes. And then Jacare started to coming back. He's like, Andrea, what happened? I said, man, I'm waiting for them. He's like, man, if something happened, let me know. Because if you don't get in, I'm not gonna fight. Jacare said that. Wow. Said, I'll get out, too. Like, I, I don't like this stuff. I said, okay, wait, we're, we're together, don't worry. And then like she came back, she looked to my eyes, and then she said, look, I'll give you four days of visa. You're gonna stay today, tonight, you're gonna stay next night, you're gonna fight two days, and then you leave right after. You can't stay here. If you stay more than four days, you're gonna have a huge problem with us. And I was like, yes, sir. And she said, do you gotta do that? You gotta leave like after four days? I said, yes. And it was like uh, right in the weekend of my birthday, right? Oh yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. And then like she's like, bah, bah, she's taking my passport. And then like when I get in, man, I had like goosebumps. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, dang, I want to fight. fight. Yeah. <laughs> First round, an English guy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, but man, then I, I say, man, and that was like one of the, it was the best ADCC, right? Yeah. That I ever fought. And I won double gold and and came back with the prize, $50,000 in my pocket. Man. $50, and you weren't even, yeah. you weren't even supposed to go, really. Yeah. Now, technically, you shouldn't have even been going. Yeah, technically, I... You shouldn't I could, have even been gotten through. Yeah, technically, like, I couldn't get in. But also, uh, during the training camp, I didn't have the permission as well. Right, right. Right. Imagine if I was waiting for the permission. I say, oh, I know, I can't go. Yeah. But I just like, Kept I got, I got a hope in my heart. I say, look, I got train. I gotta prepare myself for this. Yeah. And I train so hard, so hard. And then since then, every a lot of things changed. When I got like the fifty thousand dollars, 
I invest in my business, you know, and then I start renting cool things like nearby, and then I spend my gym, yep. and then start like, you know, nice. getting bigger and bigger, and then today, yeah, I'm here in Wisconsin. Yeah, Caledonia. <laughs> I'm Caledonia. Caledonia. Yeah, God is good, man. You know, so. Why did you name yeah. your gym Atos? What does that mean? Yeah, Atos is the book of the Bible. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. The Acts? The Acts, the Acts. Acts. But in, in Portuguese, Atos, those apostles, which means Acts of the Apostles. Right, right. But okay. it's just Acts in English, right? Right. It's because it's the only book that doesn't have an end, you know? It doesn't say goodbye for you. It doesn't say like, oh, and God, the Lord bless you. Right. Peace, amen, you know? Right. It doesn't say that just because the next chapter are us. Mm -hmm. It's us. The next mm -hmm. chapter is, is us as a church. And by the way, I start a Bible study in my gym when I moved so for like a year and a half. And after that, the church moved for a building. Uh, yeah. Today the church has like maybe like 50 members. It's still small, but we baptize a lot of people. Good. Good. I think for me this is everything, and all the things that I have today, you know, is just like a plus, like just a blessing and promises that God gave to me. You know, so I have my daughter, my wife. When I got here, when I in 2010, I stayed three months with Alvaro. And I remember when I called her, I said, look, this is the gym of my dream. And then she said, okay. She just said, okay, if you're saying that, okay. I said, look, pack everything and move to the United States. I can't go back, I need to stay here. And she did it. She sell everything that I had in Brazil. She paid the house to, to give the house back, you know? Right, right the, the landlord. I had like a rental a lease there in Brazil. So, and then after three months, she got it in the United States. And then uh, I spent Christmas time with my, she got there around, I think, November, like Thanksgiving time. End of October, November, right? Mm -hmm. So it was good. Man. But that's how I got here. Now I'm six years here. It sounds like I'm here for a long time, right? Your yeah. English right? is really your good. English, yeah. Yeah, yeah, your English is really good. Oh, thank you. When I'm focused, uh, my English is, is good. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm tired, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Um, yeah, like, people think that I'm here for a long time, like longer, you know? But it's only six years. This year is six years. Do you like it better here than Brazil? Yes, today, like, I feel like this is my home, you know? I feel... I feel like... I feel good here. That's what you want us to do. I was like sleeping in a friend's house, right? Like a guy, a guy like that I don't even know the guy. Like, you know, he he gave me a car. Oh, you know, he was my student. He's like, he was paying like per month. But he gave it to you? He gave, like, he gave me a car, but he, gave, he, he let me use the car. Why I don't have a car? So I got a Porsche 1976 or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> but man, but the, no. But, I thought he got like a brand new Porsche. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, but the car was like old. It was like a station wagon. Porsche. No, but the car was really, really old, you know. And um, I got that car. So I was in a friend's house. There was another friend that opened up a, a room of his house, like for me to stay there. Sometimes I, I I stay at the gym, like sleep at the gym, like in my office. And uh, when I got the gym, the guy just gave the gym to me, right? So right. I didn't make any grand opening, right. nothing. I just opened the gym. Like mm -hmm. I opened the door, like here I am. It was right. Saturday, I remember. I said, okay, Saturday I'll come and train and teach you, you know? Like it was the guy, I thought it was only the, only Brian, my friend, he's my black belt today. I thought only Brian would be there, right? But when I got there, it was around like 30, 30 people. Whoa! But it was guys like from Australia, from France, from Germany, like different parts. And I'm like, man, what are you guys doing here? They're like, oh, we come here for a grand opening. I'm like, what? It's like, yes. I'm like, how come you guys know that? It's like, no, we are big fans. And we follow like the news, like there is a blog on Sherdog. Oh, oh and yeah, And they told Sherdog, us that you're sure. gonna be here. 
Wow. And they find out that I would be there, right? Back the day, Facebook, Instagram, those things didn't exist much, right? I had it, Facebook, but it wasn't like that popular, right, right? right? So you couldn't advertise like today. So I didn't advertise anything, but it was a lot of people. I did a couple. I taught a couple private lessons. Yeah. That day, but I had like, I had the gym, free. The guy said, "Look, you pay me. Uh, you pay me like, give me like uh, four hundred dollars uh, rent for the gym." Wow. Can you and imagine I, that, Scott? I paid four hundred dollars. And look, there was a computer screen there, right? There's the only computer. The guy gave him the computer guy. If the mats that was there, like 350 square feet of mat or 400 square feet, something like that. And I didn't have any like credit card machine or right, right. nothing like that, you know? Right. Not even a waiver, man. <laughs> Not even a waiver. So I didn't know the United States system. You can't come in here. I didn't know the United States system. <laughs> and the guy who like gave me that gym, this guy, he's very wealthy. Oh, okay. Like he's super wealthy. Yeah. Very, very well. And but he didn't teach me anything, he didn't give anything to me. He just gave like opportunity. Right. And I took, right? And I remember I used to line up people after months, like two or three months, the first 30 students, right? I say guys, don't forget to pay me, okay? And they <laughs> don't forget to pay me. <laughs> and they come, they go like, okay, they give me cash. You know, some like, oh, can they give a check? Like, yeah, why not? Give me some check. And then next day I go to the bank, get the check. You know, I was like with the money in my... Man, it was crazy, man. And then I didn't have like... Don't forget to pay me. Yeah. And that's how it starts, you know? And then oh, I started to learn everything. Then I had a friend from Virginia and then he came and then he helped me out with the, oh, the waiver things. Yeah. yeah. You need a credit card machine. This is the waiver. This is the contract. This and that, you know? And Did I have. you speak uh, English? Nah, my English was like very like. Jungle, jungle. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, man. Yeah, I imagine that. I say, hey, guys, pay me now, today. Okay? Don't forget. <laughs> and then, um, okay, then. Um, Check this out right now, man. Look, this is because the pastor say, look, go, God will open all the doors for you. Check this out, man. Look how crazy. So, gave me the car, gave me the gym, right? Because I say yes to him, right? Because I start like, a, I say yes also to the ministry, right? Right? At the church. So, I came to the United States as a missionary, and I still a missionary, right? Today, I'm a deacon at my church, okay? helping my pastor always and check this out so car house okay money right because oh don't forget to pay me they give me money i was making around like 2000 2500 because the number of students that i had i say okay first 30 students give me 100 bucks after that 150 you know and then i started like this like little by little and then uh I went, I need a place to, to, to rent, right? I call my wife, say, when you get here, we're gonna go choose a, pla uh, choose a place to live. She said, no, you gotta, you gotta looking for that right now. I'm not gonna move with my daughter yeah. without a place to stay. Yeah. So you gotta yeah. find right now. I'm like, dang, okay. So every afternoon, me and this guy, Brian, my friend, Brian Perry, <laughs> he, he, uh, he got, his, he got me on his car and said, okay, let's go looking for a place. Where you want to live? What neighborhood? Okay, I said, this one. And Brian was from the U.S. He's from the U.S. Yeah, He's okay. America, yeah. And Brian and Mark, they kind of like together right now. So Mark has a cor big corporation and Mark like, uh, Brian works for him. So, I, I, I was looking for a place, right? I saw a place, I make application. They're like, oh, we can't rent for you. You know, you know we don't have credit. Okay. So I say, what is credit? And then Brian like, man, you need this, you need that. I'm like, damn, I don't have nothing like that. Just my passport. I like, no, you, we got to find it. And this guy also had faith that I would find something, right? And then I find an apartment. I got in an apartment in Pacific Beach, San Diego. I get in an apartment. I, I, I met the landlord. I was talking straight to the landlord. No real estate. Straight to the landlord. 
Hey, his name was Chris. Hey, Chris, you know, I moved from Brazil. I just moved. My family's coming. I'm married. You know, I'm a fighter. He's like, oh, you're a fighter? Yeah, I'm a fighter. Okay, cool. What do you do here? I say, oh, I have a gym. Oh, gym? Where? What is the name of your gym? I say, oh, Atos. I say, okay, where is your gym? Okay, I say, man, come this week at my gym. We're gonna see. And the guy went there. After I was looking the place, you know, he went there to the gym and he looks the gym and he's like, oh, cool, man, that's nice. You just start, huh? Because it was really small, right? It's like, oh, you teach you? Yeah, yeah. I start the business right now. He's like, oh, cool. Okay. And then, so nice, cool. Now he knows that I have a place. I wasn't right, lying, right? Right, right. He's like, okay. All right, fill up this application here. And I fill up the application. And there's like, social security number. And I'm like, what is this, Brian? He's like, put your passport number. <laughs> and I put my passport number, right? <laughs> okay. And then a guy called me, hey, man, you don't have social, right? Right? I say, no, man. Come to the apartment here. I want to talk to you. And then I get in the apartment. When I get in the apartment, it was the guy and his wife. Okay. And the guy say, hey, man, I saw your fight on TV, man. I saw you on TV when I was fighting with Strike Force, right? I said, oh, really? I didn't have cable, I didn't know, right? He's like, I said, really? He's like, yeah, man, it was cool, man. It was nice. Oh, you really a fighter? That's cool, man. So cool. This is my wife. And then his name is Chris, but I don't remember her name. And his name is Chris Uldecki. Uh I don't remember her name, but she say, Oi, tudo bem? She was talking Portuguese with me. Oh! And I'm like, oh, we're Brazilian. She's like, yes, I'm Brazilian. I say, oh, cool. You guys married? Yeah, we're married. For how long? Oh, like 12 years. I'm like, oh, wow, cool. She's like, yes. What part of Brazil are you? And I say, I'm from San Jose. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm from San Sebastião, but uh, I, I grew up in San Jose Dos Campos. She's like, really? I grew up there too. I'm from oh, there. Baby. I'm like, oh, really? She's like, yes. I'm like, oh, cool. I say, so what part is her? She say, Jardim's Industria. I'm like, me too. She's like, wow. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. She's like, yes. And then she say, you know what? Um, my sister, she used to date a guy. She had a boyfriend for years. And this guy do like judo and jiu-jitsu. Uh, as, as she say, his name is Mal, Mal, Malboro, Mamoro. Mamoro, but we call him Alboro because it's cigarette, right? So Mamoro is a Japanese guy saying, man, this guy trained with me. <laughs> She's like, really? She's like, yes, this guy trained with me. It's like, wow. And then boom, broke up. She's like, okay, the house is yours. Oh, well, wow. You just yeah. send the check for us. Yep. Just oh, in, man, I man. stay in that house. <laughs> man, God provides. I stay in the house for three years. Nice. And I never skip one way. Yeah. Ever. I always pay on time. Ch -ch 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 -ch. When I left, the guy, no man, stay. Stay. <laughs> we make a better deal. I'm like, no, no man. <laughs> I say, no. No, I'm good, man. I need to, you know, I need the house. I don't want to leave the apartment anymore. That's man, awesome. was, this is crazy, right? Yeah, man. Man, man this is. is crazy, man. The girl was from Brazil. The girl lives in the same neighborhood, same city, same town. And knows your friend. And she knows my friend. And maybe she call and she and then yeah. the guy probably say, man, I know the guy, you know. Yeah. It's crazy, you know. And then all this happened and we're gonna share more stories here and then you guys will will know more about the things that happened, okay? That's awesome. <laughs>